Another question for you. What are the odds of a black woman, a black educated woman, finding a black male mate? And also, what are the long-term implications of her actually not being able to attain such and going outside of race? Yeah. I mean, this becomes one of the hot topics, right? And, and it's hot right now because, you know, uh, who say Young know, Jeezy is with, you know, of who um, Big Sean is with, you know, and I mean, it, it several other examples. But now we're talking about the reverse, right? We're talking about black women specifically. Um, Serena Williams is a good example. Um, I think part of what people have to realize is that it's a huge gap between highly educated black women and highly educated black men. For example, if you're at a historically black college or university, Howard, Hampton, Fisk, TSU, I mean, we can name them all, Xavier, whatever. Um, the ratio between black women at those schools and black men can sometimes be seven to one, 10 to one, 12 to one. So even if all of the black women at that, at that school married a black man at that school, you got another nine black women on the outside looking in. So that's the first thing. Second thing then, okay, well, people are like, well, there are tons of other black men. Well, yes, but even that, black women outnumber black men. So um, black women represent a, a higher percentage of, uh, if you just look at black people overall, women are more represented. So like black people, you know, we represent like, shoot, 10, like, like, 12.8, 13% of the population, okay? 300, 300 million people, 330 million people. So we're talking about about 33 million people, all right? Of that, we got to exclude kids. So now we're talking about adults. At that point, we're talking about 12 to 15 million people. Black women have about 2 to 3 million more people than black men do. So even before we even get to college, <laughs> we're talking about a gap. And then when we get to college, we got an even bigger gap. So I say all that to say, before we even get to people's preferences, there is a structural gap that exists where black women highly outnumber black men. Okay? So then, then we get the black women who do get black men. All right? Now they're gone. So now we got all these black women. And then we got these black men who are oftentimes less educated than them. Less educated black men now deal with underemployment. Unemployment, not saying college educated black men don't too, but particularly black men who only have a high school degree or a GED. I know several of them, man, they're they great dudes, right? But they might be struggling with employment in ways that other people don't. What that means is when men struggle with employment, they then aim to enact their masculinity out in other ways. Because for men, masculinity is mostly tied to being a provider. I mean, you got a man. And a man can't provide? Oh, man, like, what, what does that do to you? And, and it's because we have a limited view of masculinity, but, but that is that part. So now black women are out here trying to date a black man who's less educated than her, who is struggling with employment, and she's sitting up here dressed to the nines with her red bottom shoes, walking with her, her Louis V bag, and he like, and now, now they don't went to some fancy Thai restaurant, the bill come, it's 120 and he like, hey, what the heck I just get myself into? Because this is the life she living in corporate America, right? And then say if, if she like, you know what, I really like him, he really likes me, let's try to ride with it. What kind of conversations they having in the house? She come home talking about, yeah, today at the office such and such. She was like, how was your day? Oh, well, you know, I went down and, you know, I they let me go early because we had finished up, you know, work on the line. And, you know, I had packed up all my boxes, so I was only there for four hours. Four hours? So you only bring home four hours worth of a check? Oh, now I don't broke loose. Now I'm not saying that people don't work this out because I know a lot of black women who have more education than the black man who they're with. But these are the problems that happen. So what does that mean for black women? Oh, well maybe I'll look outside my race. And we already know the implications of that. But with that being said, one of the other issues black women then deal with, as beautiful as they are and as smart, as intelligent as they are, is they are the least desired group of all groups of women. So white men, Latino men, and 
um, Asian, Asian men desire them at least. There was a great study on Facebook that some academics did where they looked at like millions of profiles. You remember, well, I guess people can still poke on Facebook. Like, I don't know who still poke on Facebook, but people used to poke people on Facebook. They did a study where they said, we're going to take people whose profiles look the same besides their race and their gender. We're going to have them poke other people. We're going to see who pokes back and who gives a response. And they found that black women got the least responses on Facebook. So that is the conundrum that black women deal with when it comes to marriage. And the problem for women, no matter how successful they get, no matter how high their education, how much money they make, what kind of title they got, you walk into a black household. This is what I love about uh, Ray J's recent movie. I mean, no matter how successful you are, you had a Christmas film, you walk into your house and you're not married as a black woman, people looking at you some kind of way. They feel like you're incomplete. And that's unfortunate. But the, this is black women's reality if they want to get married. 